In this video, I'll show you how to speed up video editing lag in Blender's video editor by using proxies. And I edit all of my YouTube videos with Blender, so this is really helpful because I create long video tutorials so the editing process can get quite laggy, but the proxy setting really helps to speed up the viewport lag when I'm video editing. And if you'd like to learn all the basics of video editing in Blender, then definitely check out my Blender video editing tutorial series. Link to that will be in the description. So I'm just going to click and drag and drop in here this raw file that I recorded with OBS, my screen recording software, and I can turn up the end frame to make it longer. But because this is a raw file from OBS and it's a really long video, it's like a half an hour long, if I kind of scrub through this, you can see it is a bit laggy in the viewport. Now if I press the space bar to play this, if I look up here in the corner, you can see it's showing me the frames per second, and right now it is doing a pretty good job at keeping up with the frames per second. One thing that I do to make sure it keeps up with the frames per second when I'm playing this is to click on playback, and then here on the sync, you can use sync to audio on these settings here, or you can also use frame dropping. I like to use sync to audio, and this helps when you're playing the space bar here to play the frames per second without it being laggy. However, if you have a really big project and you have lots of videos and you have lots of editing, it can get quite laggy. And if I press the space bar to play this and then drag it around, you can see when it turns into the red value, that's showing us that it's lagging behind with the frames per second. So what you wanna do is first select the video strip, and then you wanna press the N key to open up the side panel and you want to click down here on proxy and here's the proxy settings so we'll just click here to select the strip proxy and time code and then we can change the settings so you can choose a resolution so if the resolution is smaller then it will be able to set up the proxies faster but of course the viewport won't be quite as high quality so i'd like to change my resolution to 50 because this way the video will be half the size and so it'll set up the proxies much faster than 100 percent and then here on the quality, I just like to turn this all the way down to one so that it'll set up the proxies faster and it will look a little bit pixelated in the viewport, but I'm really not too concerned with that just when I'm video editing it. Now on default, it's going to save the proxy data to the same folder on your computer where you have this video file. And so that's just how I like it. However, if you want to set a custom directory to save the proxy data, you can click on the directory button and then you can click on this folder and you can set a custom directory where it's going to save the the proxy data, but I really don't use this. I like having it just save the proxy data in the folder with this video file. So again, just change the resolution. I like to use 50 and then the quality I like to turn to one. And then you can click on the rebuild proxy and timecode setting. And you can see right down here on the bottom of my screen, there is a loading bar and it's going to set up the proxies. So you can see this is going kind of slow. It's only at 4%. However, this is a really large file because this was my raw video file for recording the tutorial. So it would go much faster if it was a smaller video. Now, here in my file browser, this is where I have the video editing file, and you can see Blender has created this BL proxy folder, and this is where it's saving the proxy data. So while you're video editing, make sure you don't move this folder around and make sure you don't delete it, because this is the data that it's going to use to speed it up using the proxies. However, this proxy data can get quite large. It can be a pretty large file size. So once I'm done doing all of my video editing, and once I'm completely done with the project, then I just delete the BL proxy folder, and that way it saves space on my hard drive because I'm not using the proxy data anymore. So after I'm done with my video editing project, I just delete this folder. So you can do that if you want to. Now, while you're waiting for the proxies to build, I'd recommend not really doing any video editing because if you start to cut the strips and edit the strips and add in other files, it can mess up the proxies. The proxies can be canceled, or if you cut the strips, it may not add the proxies to both of the strips. So while Blender is building the proxies, I'd recommend just not doing anything here in your video editing file and just waiting for it to finish and the proxies are finished. Now, if I scrub through this, you can see it doesn't really look any different. It's still pretty laggy. So what we need to do is hover our mouse here in the preview, and we need to press the N key to open the side panel. We need to click here on the view tab, and on the proxy render size, you need to make sure it's using the proxy, so make sure that's checked. And then here on the proxy render size, you need to make sure this is set to the same resolution that you used. So now if I zoom in here, you can see it's just 50%, so it is a little bit pixelated, and it does look a little bit low quality, but if I scrub through this, you can see it's going to be very, very fast. Now, you don't have to worry about it looking low quality when you render the final animation, because when you render the final animation, it's not going to use the view settings. It's going to use the resolution that you have right here on the output properties panel. And of course, if you want to be able to preview this in its full resolution, you can at any time change the 50 back to 100%, and now it'll be its full resolution. It'll just be a little bit more laggy. 
If I change this over here to 50%, so it's half the resolution, but then press F12 to give this a render, you can see it's back to its full quality in the render. So these view settings only affect the view, but not the final render. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn all the basics of Blender's video editor, then definitely check out my video editing for beginners tutorial. The link to that will be in the description. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.